Now, Professor Sharp tells me that Jerry Simmons' file went missing from the hospital. Let's see what's in Jerry's file now. Astrid Island, question mark. We've never heard of any abductees exhibiting red eye and disappearing until recently. This is the rendezvous where we agreed to meet. Where is everyone? We've gone at least three hours by now. Probably still looking for Leon. Harry's going to split, isn't he? He'll split and disappear just like Sean and Leon. How do we make sense of all that? Harry and Lucy have disappeared? You think I'm hiding something, don't you? Why would I? That's my boyfriend in there with some fatal alien virus. Simon! So it's fear that brings on the red eye rather than the red eye causing people to panic. Harry! Harry! Chris, you work. I'm now. It's the morning. Yeah. It's the morning of November the 22nd. We're running out of time. Well, if what the witness saw was correct, it's our last full day before we disappear. Simon, don't. Why? It's true, isn't it? You should think about getting packed up then. Don't worry, Lucy. Harry's doing fine. But the way he was last night, it was awful. Yeah. We ran some tests on Harry yesterday, and we think they must have triggered his epilepsy. He is stable now, though. But what about the virus? Does that mean it's getting worse? There did seem to be some improvements. It's just, after yesterday's setback, it looks like we might be back where we started. You're supposed to be making it better. We're trying. We just don't understand the full implications of the virus yet. You told me you could help. There must be something you can do. Harry's in no immediate danger, but we do know that it's important that you both remain as calm as possible in case... How am I supposed to remain calm when you don't know any more about this virus than we do? There must be something you can do. What about Mr. Simmons? You cured him, didn't you? Um... Derry was a very different case. Why? Why, what was so different? Well, well with, with Harry, we have the added complication of his epilepsy. So, for now, we need to forget about Jerry and concentrate on getting Harry well again. Yeah. You're right. Harry is the most important thing right now. From what we saw on Shona's DV, I don't think there's any point hanging around here any longer. Should we try and find where Shona is? But Chrissy, there's no proof that anyone's missing. So I think we just stick to the original plan. Find Jerry. And if the others are somewhere, they'll hopefully be doing the same thing. You're right, Sally. Si. Oh, let's start getting this stuff packed up. Oh, and Chrissy. What? You can pack up your own tent. Any change? No. Where's Lucy? Getting some fresh air. On her own? Yes, on her own. She's hardly going to run off while her friend is lying here sick, is she? Well, we can't be too careful, not after Jerry. Look, about Jerry. Yes? Lucy has started asking questions about her teacher, and I'm really not comfortable. What did you tell her? Don't worry, I stuck to the script. So she still thinks he's at Belmont Clinic, right? For now, yes, but she's not stupid. She's bound to find out the truth sooner or later. No, she won't. Not if we're careful. And anyway, you're probably right. While Harry's in here, I don't think Lucy's gonna go very far. Yeah, but how long do you think you're gonna keep him here for? I mean, isn't this getting out of hand? No. Look, our only choice is to detain Harry permanently. If we let him go, he's likely to split and we end up with another Jerry on our hands. We don't even know if Jerry did split. Even if he didn't, he will. So in the meantime? Harry and Lucy stay here, and we keep a close eye Don't on them. Don't you think they would be better off if they could... Sam, we've been over this. Oh, and Sam, under no circumstances are you to mention the other's whereabouts. Understood?
Ty, do you really think the aliens are trying to help us? Yeah, I think so. It's been back in Falkirk that seems kind of, you know, hazy. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's kind of confusing. It's like we're in a time machine or a gateway. Or like in the movies where something feels totally real, but it's not actually happening. Yeah, I wondered about that too. But it can't have been. I mean, we didn't just see things, we felt them too. And anyway, we recorded everything on the DV. And that news report, nah, it was real, all right. Yeah, and in that case, it means that four of us are going to disappear into the waves tomorrow. You see, we can't think like that. Look, as long as we stay away from water and waves, we must be OK. You know, we can't just let it happen. I mean, surely we've got some control over our own destiny. Hope you're right, Si. I really hope you're right. Of course I'm right. OK, Mr Cocky, where do we go now? Well, we still haven't figured out where Astrid Island is, so I reckon we're heading to town and suss that out and then go get Jerry back. Just like that? Yep. The eyewitness on the news said that four of us walked into the waves. But that can't happen now. Not now that there's only me and Harry. And the others could be anywhere. Unless... Shona, Leon, Chrissy and Simon, what if they're all together? What if they're heading for the waves right now? I've got to get them. I've got to stop them somehow. Oh, look, Simon. What? Just how normal everything is. People sunbathing, walking their dogs, just doing everyday normal stuff. We didn't just give anything for that right now. Yeah. I suppose I know what you mean. It's like we're in some kind of twilight zone or something. Yeah. I just want my old life back, Simon. I just want my sad, boring old life back. Only it doesn't seem quite so sad or boring anymore. <laughs> Good old Falkirk, eh? Yeah. We'll do it, Chrissy. We'll get our lives back. Hiya, boy. Oh, oh, hiya. Oh, oh, me and dogs don't exactly get along. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Don't worry about it. He's always going for a swim. It's getting that afterwards that's a problem. Leo, come on out of the water. <laughs> Leo. See, I told you dogs and I didn't get on very well. Leo, come on. Well, <clears throat> don't give my hand getting his dog back, shall I? <laughs> my hero, as I have to see. Be careful. It means that four of us are going to disappear into the waves tomorrow. And then I saw the four of them just, just walking out into the waves. And then I saw the four of them just, just walking out into the waves. Four of them. Clinic, isn't it? Yeah, this is bioremedial. Yeah. Level two. All I want to do is speak to Mr. Jerry Simmons. Okay, with Jerry. Yay, Simmons. Okay, please. <sighs> Don't put me on hold again. <sighs> Hello. Jerry? No, this is Dr. Rod. Can I ask you or exactly? Look, I've been through all this. Right. All I want to do is speak to him. Well, it's not so Please, it's right. important. I'm afraid I really can't. Why can't, can't you help. get him to the phone? <laughs> If there is the slightest change in his condition, you must let me know immediately. Oh, no. Hurry! What is it, Chrissy? What's wrong? We were in the waves. Four of us. In the waves. The water. <sighs> I thought we were going to disappear. You see, it's OK. Everything's OK. No one's disappearing anywhere, not if I can help it. I mean, I saw us, four of us. Look, whatever you saw, it wasn't real. Look, I'm right here. And so are you. 
We're okay, Chris, and we're still here. Harry, what are you doing here? I don't have time to explain. But you're Lu supposed to be resting. Professor Sharp said... Forget Sharp. I'm fine. But... Lucy, they have been lying to us. About what? About, about Jerry, about everything. Harry, you're still not well. After last night, maybe you just had a bad dream. Lucy, please. You have to believe me. It wasn't a dream. I'm fine. And the sooner we get out of here, the... <laughs> This way. Quick, Lucy, in there. How could you let this happen? Do you think it was the virus? Could he have just disappeared? You know, I, I'm pretty sure they left on foot. His belongings are gone. Where's Lucy? <sighs> what a mess. Harry, I'm sorry, but I can't go anywhere with you. Not until you explain what's going on. Stanich and Sharp. They've been lying to us about Jerry because they don't know where he is. You mean he disappeared too? I'm not sure. I heard them talking about whether or not it split. And then Stanich mentioned others. You mean the rest of our group? It could be. But she said to keep the whereabouts a secret. So she might know where our friends are? Yes, but she's making sure we don't find out about it. She's planning on keeping us here at the Institute. Permanently. Well, there's no way that's going to happen. No, there's a chance we could find our friends. Bad. I must have really scared Simon back there. But if I did, it wasn't half as much as I scared myself. It was like I actually saw us walking towards our fate. Just being around water now makes me completely freak out. It's like I'm not in control anymore. My mind's playing tricks with me. Somehow I've got to try and stay in control. I can't let all this get to me like that again. Me and Simon, we're a team. He's all I've got. I have to be strong. I can't let him down. Fucking stare at me. No wonder Chrissy freaked when she saw me in the water like that. I'd have done the same thing. How could I have been so stupid? Chrissy's the last person I want to upset, and I did. I never want to frighten her again like that. She's too important to me, you know? I hate all this. It's like everything suddenly has a whole different meaning. It's scary. It's hard to think straight when all this stuff's going on in my head all the time. I've messed up so many times in the past, but this time I've got to get my act together. How are we going to get out of this place? I don't know. No. I can't. But I don't want you to get sick again. Lucy, I'm fine. And there's no way I'm going back to that hospital, okay? Okay. You okay? Yeah, a lot better now that I've changed my top. How about you, though? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, honest. Just had a bit of a crazy moment back there. Do you want to get out of here? Where to? I still don't know where Astrid Island is. We could go to an internet cafe. We're bound to get loads of information off the net. Uh, good idea. As long as we can find one that serves big greasy fry-ups. Oh, you okay? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, thanks. Good. Good. 
was set up in the late 80s as a decontamination unit. See, it sounds like a link. It sounds like it's got something to do with extraterrestrials. Remember we had those medical checks after we got abducted? Yeah, and that place closed down after a couple of days. Exactly. So maybe Jerry needed further checks on Astrid Island. Though it says here, in 1992, when the funding was cut, it disbanded. Disbanded means closed down, right? Yeah, right. Does it say where this place is? That's the problem. Seems like it was so hushed up, no one even knows where it is. Oh, great. So we still don't have a clue where we're going. There's no sign of anyone anywhere. Yeah, but not for long. I'll have this place swarming soon. I'm so sorry, Harry. I really thought they were trying to help us. Sam seems so genuine. I know. I thought so too. But it doesn't seem like you can trust anyone anymore. They were keeping stuff from us. Important stuff. Who are we running from now, Harry? I'm so confused. First the authorities, then something alien, and now Stanich and Sharp. I know. It always seems like we're running from someone. But it's more something than someone now. It's not Stanich making members of our group disappear, is it? She might be clever, but she's not that clever. They can't just have disappeared. Stanage and Sharp are getting in our way. They're stopping us from finding out the truth. No matter how bad it is, if there's a chance that we can find Jerry and others, we need to get on a bus or a train out of here as soon as we can. You're right. OK. So I'll go and find out how we can leave here. There's bound to be a bus station or something nearby. What do you mean, Yogo? Well... It's safer if I go, and I'll come back and get you. No way! What if something happens to you? We have to stick together. You're all I've got, Harry. Don't worry, Luce. I'll be fine. No, Harry! No way! I almost lost you at the hospital. I won't lose you again. Hey, you're not getting rid of me that easy. Promise? You think I'd lose you now when you mean this much to me? No way. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> I better go. Okay. You stay right here. I'll be back as soon as I can. Promise? Please be careful, Harry. Those kids know how much danger they're in? Oh, I don't understand what would make them run out like that. Lucy seemed fine to me. Something must have spooked them. Maybe they found out you've been lying to them. Well, if they're trying to get out of here, the bus depot is the first place they'll go. Well done, I'll be right there. And don't let her out of your sight. Someone's watching her, but Harry's gone AWOL. No, I don't think he'll leave. Not without Lucy. I'll check and see if he's bought tickets yet.
how much Harry's changed. He's like this whole different person. There's no way the old Harry would have taken so many risks. <laughs> He's just so... Thank you. Simon, but well, you ordered a cooked breakfast, not a five-course meal. Well, I've got to keep my strength up. Oh, look at that. You look scary when you're mad. Yeah, so watch out. Oh, can't you just turn that off for five minutes? No, I've got to make sure I keep a record of everything we do, just in case. Just in case we disappear off the face of the planet? Oh, yeah. We won't disappear, will we? Not if we get our act together. Frightened sigh. He has to get back here safely. He just has to. Oh, come on, Harry. What's taking so long? Where are you? You did. Well done. Thank you. What's it? Harry? What's it? I'm coming. Hold on. Harry, what's wrong? Lucy. Come on, Lucy, you have to come with me. It's for your own good. No way! All you want to do is fuck us up! And here we have Miss Chrissy McAteer strutting her stuff down Mungulba High Street. Come on, Chrissy, give us a smile. Look, Simon, stop messing around. You've got to hurry up. All right, all right. It's hard to hurry when you've just had a breakfast the size of mine. Harry? Harry! Harry, over here! No, that's not how it is. I'm trying to protect you. Protect us? Don't you mean light us? Everything you've ever told us is a lie. How do we trust you now? What's it? Are you sure it was Harry? Yeah, I'm certain. It was definitely him. I'd recognize Humper anywhere. Oh, quick, we're going. Oh, oh, no. Sorry. We've got to find him quickly. Can't have gone that no, far. You know what, mate? My fault. Come on, can't lose him again. Oh, I've got it. Lucy, 